meteorologist Mark Molnar is your host for the Weather Show, Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into the weather forecast. Before we do, if you do have any photos or videos of weather or nature to send in, send them into my Facebook page, Media Mark, or Weather Northeastern. Also, WX Northeastern on Twitter and MediaMark.com at gmail.com at my email address. Let's get right into that all important forecast. Look at precipitation across the country. We're looking at west to the east coast mayhem here lots and lots of moisture from the desert southwest the west coast all the way eastward to the southeast and even the eastern portion of the united states we're looking at a solid one to two inches with locally higher amounts here in southern and western california here and to the southeast as well let's get right into that all-important pattern outlook we're going to take the first three to five days here we're looking at basically this trough starting to dig out west and a ridge starting to develop here in the east just in time for the weekend so we'll kind of quiet out that weather towards the end of the week although towards the weekend we will get a few systems that push up into the northeast here and the onset could be some snow at the onset so we could end up with an inch or two in portions of the northeast here but here out west that troughiness come days six through ten which encompasses next week we will get a ridge developing not just with the arctic branch of the jet stream but also with the subtropical branch now look back east here this is where things get very 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 interesting you not only get the subtropical jet stream digging a trough here in the east but you also get the arctic jet stream digging as well and this could be another cold air outbreak across the northeast they've been very rare so far we've had one cold air outbreak but this could be enough to get something generated off the east coast here come tuesday through thursday time frame of next week and we it's too early to say exactly because the models are playing with how this trough interacts with a system that develops off right around the North Carolina, Virginia area. But nevertheless, we'll watch it here at Media Marks Weather Northeastern to see what the trend is for this. As of right now, it looks like it's going to mostly take a lot of its energy out to sea. But that's not to say that one of these troughs and the timing of one of these Alberta clippers gets it just right that we're actually able to get some sort of system developing out of this. So nevertheless, this is pretty far off to say the least, but we will continue to watch it because this bears watching. And when you have this kind of a temperature difference and the two jet streams coming together off the East Coast, this usually spells something very interesting. And some of the models even take some snow down to portions of the mid-Atlantic portions like Virginia and Northern North Carolina. Nevertheless, it's too far out, but I will watch it here at Media Marks Weather Northeastern. It gets very interesting this time of year, so all persons from the East Coast to the Northeast should be tuning in the next five to six days to see what's going to happen with that. Let's get right into the, we don't have any snowfall, real snowfall totals to speak of here across the Northeast, except for maybe closer to Friday night into Saturday morning. But let's get right into that forecast, starting with your Wednesday, midpoint of the week, almost to the weekend. Look at this, mostly sunny across much of the Northeast. We're warming temperatures up on the backside of high pressure here. Lots of 20s, upper 20s, lower 30s, even some mid to upper 30s here in the Susquehanna River Valley. Starting off with your Thursday, that high pressure moves off to the northeast here. We warm temperatures into the 40s across the New York State Thruway on southward here. And sunshine breaking out across the northeast. Still kind of cold here across southern Quebec, Ontario, and northern New England. But look at this Friday. We get this next system. Frontal boundary kind of snakes in and stalls out. We get moisture overriding from the west here, and this will start to spell some problems for probably Friday night here. We'll start to get to some icy mix and even some snowfall on the onset here in the Alleghenies, portions of the northern Appalachians, southern Poconos. Heading on into Friday night into Saturday, we'll have some AM snow across portions of Binghamton, Syracuse, Albany and portions of the Poconos and Catskills and Adirondacks, White Mountains. But that will quickly change to rain as warm air moves out across the Northeast and temperatures really start to rebound into the lower to mid 40s. 
In 10 seconds, I'll have a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark, comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, and Google Plus at MediaMark. Here's your five-day Wednesday through your weekend. Look at this. Partly cloudy Wednesday, Thursday, getting up towards 40 to 45. And then for Friday, increasing clouds into the middle 40s. It's Friday night, gets kind of interesting. We could have a, about an inch of wet slushy snow on the onset of precipitation moving in. And then we start to change over back to rainfall on Saturday during the day and taper off about mid to midday to late afternoon. And then into Sunday as well. And that next cold snap will be occurring later next week. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.